Right, next up in our series on Express, I want to be talking about middleware. So what the hell is middleware? Middleware is how Express handles a sequence of functions. So we can be listening for like a get request and maybe there's also a post request. Maybe we've got three or four get requests on different URLs. So how does it Express deal with the fact that there's this sequence. Sometimes there's going to be things that you want to process on every request, like if it's a cores request, something that you have to handle the headers and make sure that somebody is allowed to make the request. Maybe there's authentication going on and you need to make sure that every request has been validated or authenticated. This is the purpose of middleware. It's like a series of functions that we can call. So I've built a basic starter express project. I just have a folder. I did the, my npm init to create my package.json file. I've installed express. I created my starter app.js file. So you can see here that I've required express and I've, Im I've uh, run the express method to get my app object and I'm listening on port 3000. So there's my starter. I also created a file called middle.js. I could have called it anything, just this is the name that I chose. Inside of here, I've got two functions, and I'm exporting those two functions. So over here, we're importing them using require for the middle file. They're both in the same folder. I'm bringing these things in. Now, I can use these as middleware. So here, we can say app.use. And inside of here, I can say on every request that comes in, I want to call this function. So this function coming from over here, this is the one that I want to use. And now every single request that comes in is going to call this function whenever there's a request coming in. So we can open up our terminal here. We can start our node app. Okay, there it is. It's running. Now I'm going to do a curl request. Let's move this over a little bit. There we go. And we'll curl HTTP localhost on port 3000. There's my request coming in. And you can see this function ran. Now, nothing else has happened. And you can see there's no response here yet. It's just sort of hung and it's waiting. It doesn't know what to do next. So let's move on to solve that problem. Now, just slide that down a little bit. There we go. Use is great when it's the first step in the process. I can add middleware functions in that I'm going to use on every call, but I don't have to use them on every single call. I could, but I don't need to. Let's say I've got an app.get handling this, and we've got our request and our response objects. If inside of here I was saying response.send, and we're sending back some data there we go. Now, a request for this, if we were to start up our server again, listening on the port, and now we send it in, we get the actual response. We are getting this response from the server. Wonderful. But I want to apply this middleware on every request. If I come back in here, save it, run it again, I'm back to that same problem where the request just sort of hangs. I never get a response, which doesn't work for me. So how do I get this to move from this onto my next function? This function that we're using inside of all of these, by the way, inside of get, post, and so on, all of these, these are middleware as well. They just tend to be the last middleware function in a long list of functions that can be running in the background. Over here, the cool thing about this function, when I'm using it as middleware, is it gets the same things as this one. So inside of here, I'm actually getting the request object and the response object. So if I wanted to write out console.log, let's see my request.method, that's going to write out the get call for me. So again, we run this. now. I'm still not getting a response here, but there it is. There's the get. I actually do have the request and response objects here. All right, let's kill that again. So how do I get from here to here? That's what we were trying to solve. 
by the third parameter, next. Every time you have a middleware function, there is going to be a function that is passed along. Express looks at all the middleware being used and creates a sequence and says, okay, this is the order they were added, so this is the order that functions are going to run, and every time I call one of these functions, I'm going to tell them what's the next function in the list. So in here, I can add next. Now, it's going to go from using this to my route, and then this will be the next function. Now, you don't see this in any of my other examples that I've done up until now because we don't need next when we get to the end here. When we're sending the response, that's it. We're done. We're at the end. There is nothing else we need to do. So why have next inside of here? I could put it there, but I'm not using it, so there is no point in doing that. So we'll leave it out. Save that. Now let's run this again now that we've got this changed. We've added next. We're calling next. This time, when I run it, it's listening. And we run our curl command. There we go. Now it got the response and it's done. So this middleware function was called. It ran. It came back. And then it said, oh, okay, here's the route that we're actually handling. I'm going to call this function. And we're sending the response. And that sort of ends the process. Our server's still listening, but the client is happy. The client got their response. So that's one way of adding middleware with use. This applies it to everything. With get and post and all these other methods, the first parameter is the route that we're looking for, the endpoint, but we can list as many middleware functions as we want. So inside of here, I could say, hey, I'm going to call the how middleware, and then I'm going to call sup again. So to prevent the problem that we had up here, again, we're going to pass in the request object, the response object, and the next function. So we can call next. Every time this is called, it's going to automatically call next. So we should get sup with the method get. So we should get those two lines. Then how should run. We should see how you're doing. And then sup again the get and sum, then a response should be sent back. So we'll save this, kill our server, start it over again. And when we do our curl, there we have it. Get sup, so that's the sup function running. Then we've got the how, and then we've got sup running again. And after all of that, after the three functions have run, then this final bit of middleware, this final function is going to run and the send method is going to actually send the response to the server. Um, one common one that we may see, if I kill this again, I'm going to npm install one called cores. There's an npm package called cores. I should have said save as well, but inside of here I can now, because I've installed it, I can say const cores equals require cores that will be in my npm modules folder. Okay, I'm just going to clear these uh, two out and we're going to add our cores in. So once we have this imported, then just like our sup function, we're going to add this in so it handles every one of our cores requests. So we're calling this as a middleware function. This is going to run and then it will call next as well, just like sup did. So every one of our requests go we're listening run it again and there we go now this is adding in the appropriate headers so that we don't have cores issues when we're making our ajax requests to the servers and again this could also be added inside of here as another one of the functions the middleware functions all right um, so there are hundreds of middleware functions that are out there, things that you can add in to help you. There's different parsers, there's cookie middleware, there's a cookie parser middleware, uh, cores, authentication, passports, one that we can add in, uh, lots and lots and lots. And as I go on with the Express series, I'll start showing how to use some of these other middleware functions. But for now, that's the idea behind middleware. It is just simply 
functions that get called in order. With app.use, we can apply middleware functions to everything, and inside of our methods for the various methods, so get, post, put, patch, delete, and so on, with a route, you can just list them all off here. So these are the functions that I'm calling, and inside those functions, remember to use the next method so that it will actually move on to the next one. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.